Hello guys, myself Ankita. Today we see the issues and the problem on the phone. Duplicate zeros. So given a fixed length integer array ARR, duplicate each occurrence of zero, shifting the remaining elements to the right. Note that the elements beyond the length of the original array are not written. Do the above modifications to the input array in place and do not return anything. So the given problem is they have given an array. And when you iterate to the array, if you or find any zero element in the array, then the then you have to duplicate that zero element in the next position, and whatever elements next to zero element are there, you just need to shift that by one place. So, how do we solve this problem? If you take a array example, one comma zero comma two, then three zero four. Then five and zero. So if you iterate to the array by giving follow up, and here you will encounter zero, right? So I will be pointing here. I will equal to one now. If you encounter zero, that means you have to modify the array like you have to duplicate zero. So this will be zero, and whatever there here, that will be shifted by one place. That means this zero will go outside, and this will be cancelled. So Two comma three comma zero comma four comma five. So once you perform this, once I is here, for the next iteration, I mean for the next initially, I will be pointing here, right? And whether I numbers of i is equal to equal to zero, no, it won't be zero here. I mean array of i is not uh, zero here. So you just do i plus plus. Here you encounter zero. When you encounter zero. You add zero to the next element, i plus one uh, position. Then you shift all the elements by one, and the last will get discarded. Last element will get discarded. So when you shift all elements by one position and one add one zero, the next i would would start from here. You have to make sure that next i would start from the next position. You won't start it from zero. If you started from zero, then again here you encounter zero. All elements you shift, and again you duplicate. So that is not the way. This is one thing you have to handle here. Next, I would start from the i plus tooth position. Then nothing but i plus one. If numbers of uh, if array element is not zero, then you just increment i equal to i plus one. Here, if you find uh, an array element as zero, then you duplicate zero. That means the next iteration will start from i plus tooth position. That one you have to uh, make sure. Then how do we shift the elements? For shifting the elements, if you see, uh, let me just remove all this. Right. So for shifting the elements, once you insert, uh, like if you have i equal to zero, right? So you will be inserting zero here. Before inserting zero here, so. As you see, we have to before replacing it, the next element with the zero, you have to shift all the elements. That means we have to start iteration, one more iteration inside the row from the ending element to the i plus two position, where you do arr of j if you give it equal to arr of j minus one. So that arr of j means j is pointing here. Now this will become five. Then again you shift this; it will become four. Again you shift here; this will be zero. Again you shift three to this position; it will be three. So you stop here. Then again you shift two, shift two to this position; so two will be there. So this is nothing but i plus two position. Right? So j will start from end of the array till the i plus two position, and each time you will be replacing the error of j to the error of j minus one. And after you perform the For shifting operation, then you replace i plus one position with zero element. So we will code this now. And uh, yeah, we are giving while loop, right? So uh, because why are we giving while loop? Because if you encounter don't not encounter zero, then i equal to i plus one. If you encounter zero, then you duplicate the zero. So the next iteration will start from i equal to i plus two. So variable implementation we have, varied implementation we have. That's why we we'll use follow up. So int i equal to zero. Why i lesser than num dot 
sorry man it's array dot length yeah array dot length start from the for loop minus one minus one why because it's in the end of the array you need to handle the case as well so now you have to check either array of i is equal to equal to zero if it is equal to equal to zero again run the for loop or int j equal to uh, array dot length minus one and j greater than or equal to i plus two i plus two y as i told you replacing shifting the elements in i plus two position that's why and j minus minus now you have to do array of j equal to arr of j minus one so after performing this now shifting all the elements now replace array of i plus 1 with c this is if um, is zero then the next iteration will be nothing but i equal to i plus equals to 2 because you duplicate one zero right so since you duplicate one zero here i should start from i plus 2 position the else condition comes here what is the else condition else condition would be you won't encounter in zero that means you just need to jump i equal to i plus 1 and since void is the written type we have clearly mentioned that you did not have to do modification to the uh, you have to do the modification with the array in case we are doing that and we do not need to return anything because it's a void condition so yeah I will submit this. Yeah, it's been successfully submitted. If you have any doubts, please drop it in the comment section. We'll come up with another video in the next session. Until then, subscribe to the channel and keep running. Thank you.